Okay, hello friends. I just want to go over Miss Taylor's quick rules for painting before we start. So the first one is about taking care of our brushes. Our brushes are a tool. We want to use them properly so we can keep using them. I know everybody has gone to do an art project and the brush is all squished and hard and no good. And when we have brushes that are squished and hard and no good, our art's going to be affected by that. It's the same if you have a marker that's been all squished down or a pencil crayon that's broken. You can't do your best work without your best tools. So it's really important that we're taking care of our paintbrushes. My number one rule for paintbrushes, and if you guys did art club with me, you know this. Paintbrushes say ooh and ah. They never say ouch, ouch, ouch. So what that means is I use my paintbrush to go back and forth. Ooh, ah, ooh. Uh, gentle like that. Can even sometimes it goes straight up and down, it goes sideways, I can make little bumps, but it always says ooh and ah. It never says ouch, 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 ouch. That starts to wreck my paintbrush. See already how it's getting kind of weird looking? That's not good. That means it's a paintbrush that's not a tool and I need to reshape it. Okay, and if you do that too much to your paintbrush, it actually damages the bristles and it can't be reshaped. So it's very important that your paintbrushes say ooh and ah. Okay, so today we're using paint palettes. Yours gonna have a few less colors than mine, but it's still the same idea. These are actually watercolor paints, which means we add water to the color to get paint. Got it, got it? Now, how we do this is we get water on our brush. Okay, so I'm gonna get some water on. Then I go to my paint puck and I go round in circles. And that starts to create Paint, ooh, very fancy. All right, then I take that. Paint goes in three places, maybe four. Goes on the paintbrush, goes on the paper, goes on the paper towel. That's it. Doesn't go all over your workspace. It doesn't go all over your hands. Is it okay if you get a little bit on your desk and a little bit on your hands? Of course. What we're talking about is not having paint everywhere. Okay, because when we make a mess like that, again, our art will suffer, and also we're grade fours. We can be way more responsible than that. So when I paint, I'm gonna take it right onto the paper, saying the ooh and the ah, and the ooh and the ah, and the ooh and the ah. See though how right here, it's starting to go kind of white and the paint isn't filling in? That means I need more paint, okay? I need more water and I need more paint. So before I go into my water, I'm just gonna get some of the extra color off on my paper towel. Then I'm gonna go in, Swish it around, take it, add more water, get more paint. Ooh, uh, ooh, ah, uh, doesn't that look nice? Oohs and ahs, back and forth. Paint works best when you go in one direction. Okay, so if I start trying, it's not like coloring where I'm like kind of going all over the place. I want to kind of go in one direction because it makes just a nicer color and a nicer texture. Got it, got it, friends? and I like to go sideways. Maybe you like to go up and down, that's okay. Just try to keep your direction the same as best you can. Cool, cool? Okay, so now I'm done with the blue. Let's say I wanna use another color. Should I take this blue paintbrush right onto my green paint? Nah, friend, if you do that, you're gonna end up taking the blue onto the green, and then you won't get a green anymore. And it's even worse if you put like green on orange, then you're just gonna get muck brown. So I'm gonna do the same thing, just gonna wipe, the excess paints off my brush. Then I'm gonna go into my water. This time I'm gonna give it a good swirl just to make sure. Now I go to my new color. Okay, same thing, round in circles. That's gonna make your paint actually come from your paint puck. And you can see it's filling up my paintbrush. Take it to the paper. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. The cool thing about the brushes like this where they're kind of pointer at the top, if you get some paint on them and you need to do like a smaller space, press gently and it'll make a thin line. And if you wanna fill in a bigger space, press it on the side and it'll make a thick line, okay? So my oohs and my ahs. I'm done with this color. So again, just dry it off as best I can. It's okay if there's still a little bit of paint. You just wanna get as much of it off as you can so that your water doesn't get as dirty. Rinse it in your water. Pick your next color. I'm gonna do, uh, let's do some red. Some red going around in circles. I don't have to press hard, even on my paint buck. Still being gentle, going in circles, thinking of that ooh and ah, no ouch, ouch, ouch. 
All it does is wreck the puck and the paint. It doesn't give you more color. Okay, then we go here. Same thing, maybe this time I'll go up and down to show you, see? So I can go up and down too, but I'm noticing, oh, maybe I don't have quite enough paint. So dry it off, go into my water, get some more paint. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. If you want it to be lighter, add more water. If you want it to be darker, kind of swirl it in the paint more, get more paint and it'll create a darker color. Cool, cool? Now when my water starts to get like this, starts to get like a mucky brownish color, it's not gonna be great for painting. So what you need to do, take that water over to the sink. So my sink is right here actually by me. I'm just gonna dump it in. I'm gonna get some clean water. I don't need lots, that's enough. Even in your little bowls, they don't need to be full. You only need about this much water because it's better if you come back and get clean water more than try to use the same water over and over. Okay, so those are my tips for painting, friends. Good luck on your art. I can't wait to see the finished project.